And welcome back. A local medical equipment provider worked hard to make sure that people weren't without oxygen and other life-saving products during Hurricane Ida. 12 News' Leah Williams explains how they helped Mississippi patients weather the storm. Jones County Medical Supply delivers oxygen tanks, ventilators, and other supplies to the homes of more than 1,500 Mississippians. We're kind of those, uh, that group of providers that no one really knows about. We just kind of do our work, take care of our patients. The company's chief operating officer, Matthew Boyd, says one product has been in extremely high demand throughout the pandemic. There's a, there's a much higher demand for oxygen these days. And so that has been um, a strain on everything. And, and with hurricanes approaching in response, that just makes it kind of twofold in, in responding and being prepared. Before Hurricane Ida made landfall, Jones Medical Supplies sprung into action, making sure all of their at risk patients were taken care of. All oxygen equipment is powered by electricity, um, and then they have backup tanks. And so we call those patients check on supplies of, of what they have and then restock them in time uh, before the hurricane comes. The company delivered oxygen tanks all the way up to the point when emergency weather officials advised people to stay home. Then they made more deliveries to patients without power as soon as it was safe to get back out. Even though we weren't in Louisiana, um, we still had a lot of patients who were um, affected by the hurricane and didn't have power for many days. And all of their emergency preparedness work was done with no extra pay. We get paid one allotted amount no matter what and that's that's really covering the stationary and so when somebody loses power they continuously need tanks that we're taking. Um, we get paid nothing extra. Boyd says after the storm, most of the deliveries were made in South and West Mississippi. He says they even got a number of new patients that evacuated from Louisiana and were in need of oxygen tanks. Leah Williams, 12 News.